It's another day and another unveiling. Zamalek chairman Murtada Mansour presented Portuguese coach Augusto Inácio to the media. I gave him all the powers of a chairman. He can take all decisions without reporting to me and to ensure justice for everyone. My role is to provide the proper climate for him to work, bring the best possible players and coaches. The White Citadel is a poor 18 points behind leaders and arch rivals Al Ahli. And Inacio is tasked with reviving this expensively built team that has not lived up to expectations. Zamalek doesn't deserve to be in this ranking. There are very good players here, but no team spirit. We will begin from scratch. For me, there are no stars or big players. The most important thing is the name of Zamalek and the history of Zamalek. The incoming coach has an illustrious managerial career, including coach of renowned teams Porto and Sporting Lisbon. But he will have to deal with the ruthless chairman. Murtada Mansour has sacked 10 managers in two and a half years, including the famous Alex McLeish and Ferreira, who won them the double in 2015. But this time, experts are optimistic there will be success. The Portuguese style of coaching is the most successful in Egypt. We saw great coaches like Manuel Jose Ferreira and Pacheco. They are the most suitable for Egyptian football and this will reflect in the performance of the Zamalek team soon. For most experts here, the real test for Inacio is not how much silverware he will get for the team, but for how long he will survive under the controversial Zamalek chairman. Yes, Hakim, for CGTN, Cairo.